Hi everyone, Sherry with the Pampered Chef. So I don't know about you, but right now it is all about fast, easy, budget-friendly recipes. That's all I'm dealing with right now. That's all I have time for. And um, these, um, this burrito bowl is super easy, super fast, and very budget-friendly. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just going to start preheating my pan uh, on medium-high heat because I'm going, you can do beef or ground turkey, ground beef, ground turkey, okay? I always use chicken, turkey. Um, we don't really eat beef here, but um, let me just grab that. Sorry, I did forget to take that out of the fridge. Um, so while that's heating up, I'm gonna go ahead and I am going to cook some white rice, all right? So what I'm gonna use for my white rice is my multi-cooker, which is a pressure cooker. Um, also a slow cooker, also sous vide, and um, I already have two cups of water in here. And I'm going to go ahead and I am going to push, put the button on white rice. You guys, white rice takes four minutes. No, it's easy peasy. So I have one cup of rice, my two cups of water already in there, and I'm going to go ahead and close this baby and start it. Held it down too long, I think. Let me see what's going, what's going on here. You guys, I just love that anybody can do this. So, like, I'm gonna start over, and I'm gonna go to white rice because I held it down for so long, it it went to the next thing. There we go. Sorry about that. So that's gonna take four minutes if you know how to turn it on. It might take you a minute or two. You guys, honestly, I use these products all the time and I'm always like so scattered. But what I love about this is I'm authentically me. This is how I cook. This is what I do. It always comes out great. I'm not perfect. So, all right, I'm going to go ahead and get my turkey going in my pan. All right, so we have my ground turkey. I have my handy dandy mix and chop, so as it starts cooking, I can mix it and chop it in there. So um, I wanna share with you guys, this is a brand new pan. It's called Brilliance. It's coming out September 1st, a whole new cook line. This cook line is awesome because it is not as high end as our executive cook line, which has a lifetime guarantee, but it has 10 year guarantee and it's perfect for wedding registries and um, people starting out, and it's just another option that's um, more affordable for you know the times, what's going on here, right? So I'm gonna let that go ahead and start, and I'm going to put the lid on there. So I'm gonna make some fresh salsa. So what I did before you guys came on here, because I figured you didn't need to sit here watching me process, I did some cilantro, some onion, cilantro, onion, and four Rama tomatoes, okay? And I'm just gonna give this a stir so you can see. You guys, fresh is always best. It just smells so good. Oh, love it. And I'm gonna add some sea salt and then some lime juice. That's all that this truly needs. If you want, if you like it spicy, you can go ahead and put jalapeno peppers in. Now, I like to tell people, if you like it medium, then take the seeds out, use a half a jalapeno, and you'll have medium. If you like it hot, hot, leave the seeds in. Do half of it and leave the seeds in. Depends on how you like it, okay? So for my lime, I'm gonna go ahead and just roll my lime to kind of loosen the pulp. That gives you um, a lot more juice, just so you know. And I'm gonna cut my lime in half. I'm gonna pop it in my press, my citrus press, and you guys watch how much juice comes out of this. Can you honestly, like, seriously believe that? This is what's left. Absolutely nothing. I mean, the whole thing, the whole half a lime is in here. And usually, if it's a nice, ripe, lime or lemon, um, I get a good solid, you know, close to half a cup. 
of juice out of that, which is just crazy to me. So now what I'm gonna do is I am going to make some avocado crema, okay? And I'm really hoping my avocados are okay because I did slice one this morning and it um, for breakfast and it was completely brown inside. Oh, this one's brown. Oh, it's okay, I just come through. So dogs are being dropped off, you know, you're always, you never know what you're gonna find here. Oh good, perfect. So if you want to get the seed out, just give it a squeeze and your seed pops right out. And so I'm gonna go ahead and put my, my avocado right in my bowl here. And what I have in here, you guys, I already sliced up. You wanna let them out? Uh, if you wanna slice up some, um, some cilantro, I did cilantro first right inside this bowl. And then I have my avocado, whole avocado, okay? And then I have a half a cup of sour cream. This is in our um, cup that you can just push it and you have all of it, all of the sour cream, none on the sides, it's all out there. It's awesome. So we're going to go ahead and put that in. And then I'm going to do a half a lime in here as well. It's, it's unreal how much comes out. Look at that. And I'm also going to add some everything taco seasoning. I'm going to do one capful, which is for a capful for us is a tablespoon, just so you know when you're measuring. And then I'm just going to mix this up. So our manual food processor loves to go fast. And I have my crema that I'm gonna be able to um, put with my burrito bowl. So now I'm gonna go ahead and mix and chop my meat in here. So the way the mechanism works, you mix and chop at the same time and it breaks up your burger, it breaks up your tuna fish, it breaks up, you know, you can make guacamole um, with this, you can do egg salad, um, really anything you can think of that you would mix and chop, it's great for, okay? So that's nice and this is stainless steel handles so it, they will get hot, but it's nice and chopped up. And then I am going to add two tablespoons of my everything taco seasoning. Now you can use uh, chipotle, you know, if you have chipotle rub or um, something like that. You just want something that has a little bit of, you know, a Mexican flavor. So I'm just gonna let that finish off. It's almost done. And I'm gonna put my cover back on and let that just rest on low. I'm going to put that on low for just a few minutes and let that rest and thicken up a little bit. So then what I'm going to do is when the rice is done, I can put the rice on the bottom of the bowl, put my meat there, my salsa, my um, avocado crema, and then any toppings you like. So, you know, lettuce, um, cheese, Monterey Jack cheese, you know, whatever it is you like, you can just put over the top. And it is absolutely delicious and very, very budget friendly. So I hope you guys like that and I'll see you later. Bye.